Hey guys and welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure Thomas here I had an itch to get out on a bike again and uh, yesterday uh, put, in, put my stuff together so today I managed to head out so I've been riding already for almost two hours and uh, I'm just approaching or I'm, I'm already, I already got into Coleman, Alberta to see if I can get into the Dakota plane crash uh, that's a plane crash that happened quite a few years ago here uh, nearby I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to access that on a bike yet but uh, I will see uh, I have seen some photos in the past uh, from that area from that area that somebody was posting so I wonder if I can get in there so finally we have a perfect weather 17 degrees uh, i love it it's not too hot uh, perfect ride all the way here uh, let's hope i don't get into any major issues uh, as i did on a couple other rides um, my other rides here in uh, coleman uh, i lost the drone and uh, two weeks ago i busted uh, well let's say it's almost three weeks ago I, I busted my bearings on the rear wheel and uh, shortly after I got the bearing fixed on another ride <laughs> I got a flat, flat tire just as I was uh, coming back home so last couple of rides uh, were pretty crazy uh, a lot of stuff happened and uh, there is videos on that I didn't make the video of changing the tire but uh, that's pretty standard procedure I guess uh, I was just uh, maybe literally 10-15 minutes away from my home and uh, uh, the, the tire started leaking air earlier but uh, I knew that I can ride uh, with uh, almost with next to nothing for air but uh, I actually I didn't uh, make it that far but uh, I had to so I had to pull out uh, to the gas station neighboring uh, community and uh, get my sleeves up and uh, fix up that flat, uh, change the tube. You guys, uh, in a few minutes, once I get closer, apparently I have another, I don't know, like uh, 300, uh, 400 meters before I approach that site, so I will see. Uh, it's getting me to the back of town. gravel so it will be off-road by the way so I couldn't get a detailed uh, information how far that is Okay, so that looks like it's a crown land. And the fall is approaching very fast. Looks like there's some vehicles here. Do you know which way is the plane crash area? Okay. 
no, the plane crash area. Oh, it's that way? Yes. No. And here I can't get in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Uh, through the bridge? You came on the, over the bridge? Yes. Okay, so then, shortly after that, you There was no other turn-offs anywhere. Oh, he's not going to the plane crash, okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I gotta I gotta check out the GPS maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, thank you. So it is a bear country. I wonder how rough does it get if I can pass it through here. So far, so far it looks like I'm on the right track. Doesn't look like it's much further according to the old trails map. Okay, so that's gonna go down here. Let's check this out. Okay, there's the bridge, another one. Oh wow, it's steep, pretty, pretty steep. That might get quite rough. Ooh, ooh. I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna have to give up on that one. It's way too steep. And I'm not gonna take the chances. Shit! I should go and check it out. How rough it is. If I can make it up there or not.
on tarmac. Well, that was a bit challenging. I hope I'm still gonna be able to come out here maybe next week, I'm hoping. Because um, today, all my buddies were not able to go and I figured I should give it a, sh a shot. I, w I was itching for the ride, but sometimes it's safer to just back out of it. As much as I would love to push that up, up that hill, but I figure if I'm there by myself, shit happens, I'm done. So it looks like I have to cancel my plans for today. The Livingstone Falls is a no-go as well. The wind picked up and it's pretty powerful wind now. So I'm not gonna head out there. It's getting quite late now. It's uh, after three o'clock and uh, I still have uh, another two hours to get home. So, uh, well, almost two hours. So I'm gonna have to attempt it another day. It kind of sucks, uh, but uh, at least I still had a nice ride. I was able to get out and uh, go for a ride uh, before I go back to work tomorrow. So I'm hoping still to get out there uh, before the snow is gonna hit the ground. And it is, and it is getting close here now. Uh, at night, uh, the temperature drops uh, to single digits, like uh, four degrees and so on. I think uh, they were forecasting like minus two the other day, but it never happened, thanks God. So it's still early. Um, uh, basically, we are in um, mid-September right now. And by the time you're gonna watch this video, it's gonna be a while, because I still have so much other stuff uh, that I have to edit uh, in front of it. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, whatever it was today. Uh, nothing really that I planned uh, because I planned to, to reach that plane crash site and also those Livingstone Falls but to begin with uh, I left the house pretty late and uh, I wasn't able to make it uh, in my time and I have to get back home before my wife leaves for work uh, because uh, I have a younger daughter so she's not able to stay home by herself and uh, my wife is working night so i have to take over anyways see you next time guys and uh, i hope i get more luck on uh, another time when i come out here cheers That's nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too bad it's so windy. Look, that wind is so powerful. The winds here are getting pretty nasty normally. I thought I, I left her. The, the wind was only 38 kilometers per hour. And right now it's, uh, wow, too much power. It's hard to keep the bike on the gravel. It's going all over the place. Last time I was riding in a high wind like that, I wiped out pretty bad.